Hey everybody, this is the Executioner, and today we are going to be discussing Esoteric Entity. Now, Esoteric Entity is one of those YouTubers where you have to love him or hate him. Personally, I fall in the latter category on some of the things, but we are not going to get into drama. What we are going to get into is the facts, where I disagree with him, where I think he could need improvement, etc. I believe that he is a brilliant mind on some things. I believe that he can formulate an opinion, he can formulate an argument, and he can do very good things. I think that he has a plethora of knowledge on economic history. That's great. Where I disagree with him on is the implementation of libertarianism. The left market alliance, for example, he is such a fan of in regards to Samuel Edward Konkin III, which he is a huge fanboy of. Konkin, for all of his faults, was smart. He was smart on a number of things. On the concept of uh, the morality of white market capitalism, I disagree on. And I think Esso takes a lot of his ideas to the extreme. He is influenced by a lot of people, Samuel Edward Konkin, uh, Rothbard, which Rothbard's amazing. But I think that he takes a lot of the hot takes of Rothbard and Samuel Edward Konkin, and he tends to conflate them with each other. That creates a problem in regards to the ideas of hierarchy, the ideas of wage labor, etc. And I, and I personally disagree with him on the ideas of counter-economics. I believe that, in general, it's good to be paid in something that is actually valuable. Gold, silver, copper. Not necessarily sunflower seeds. I believe that the ideas of taking money from the state, be it the ideas of social programs like SNAP, welfare, etc., when you are able to work a normal job is uh, definitely immoral. It's immoral. You're contributing to the problem. And even if you take, 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 and somehow inevitably the state collapses, what are you going to do next? You have no infrastructure set up. You have nothing to facilitate any growth. You basically have nothing at the end of the day. That's why I'm an advocate of getting things underground, an underground power grid, for example, solar energy, prepping, that type of stuff. He's missing that component. What he believes, honestly, is that you have the industrial capacity with 3D printers and various other technologies, which, if utilized correctly, yes. But by the average person involved in counter-economics, probably not. You need a lathe. You need a drill press. You need a whole bunch of things just to facilitate making tooling for certain things. Making firearms, for example, is a very complex task, and even if you had the ghost gunner, you had uh, all these things, you're still going to have to have a good knowledge of CAD measurements and metallurgy at the end of the day. The Plastikov still relies on surplus parts. If you're unable to get those surplus parts, well, you're shit out of luck. That's where I disagree with him on. I disagree with his tactics, I disagree with his ideas on how to end a oppressive state. I believe that if you were to use political maneuvering, secession advocism, and even some counter-economics to an extent, that is a better option than just relying on one egg. As they say, don't put your eggs in one basket. I disagree with him on voting. I believe defensive voting is essential. Gun Owners of America, uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, etc. Uh, even the ACLU, to an extent, is essential to support in preserving our liberties as is. As Lysander Spooner put it, the voting is the tool of the common man to prevent erosion of civil liberties. Whether you believe... These natural rights are determined by God, nature, or even the state, which we all can disagree that the state does not give us our rights. Voting, at the end of the day, is a good defensive tactic, as noted by Lysander Spooner, which Esso is a fan of. 
So he, those were just some of the things I had to highlight, some of the things I disagree with. This is in no way a drama video. This is more my thoughts highlighting why I disagree with Esoteric Entity, what things I disagree with, what things I agree with, etc. Hope you guys have a wonderful week, and if you like the channel, please subscribe, like the video, and hey, have a lovely afternoon.